Good morning. So I got some bad news yesterday for me. My retreat doesn't look like it's going to happen in November because it costs a lot of money. And I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. But rather than sit and think about it, I'm just going to turn to a little confidence-boosting yoga. Um, Because I'm here to do my best. And I give rise to the gifts that are unique to only me. So if you want to join me, I would love it in this madness. I've got three little kids. They will probably pop in and out throughout. Um, So how do we take care of us? you know, honor our dreams, and be a really good mom. And I think it's by carving out time on our mats to do stuff like this. So hands to heart center. We're going to breathe through the belly and exhale, suck it in through the nose. Inhale through the nose, exhale. Now this is called breath of fire when it goes fast. If you're pregnant or you're already feeling really hot, don't do this. Just breathe. Benefit. Still good. If you're not pregnant and you need a little more fire in your day, then I invite you to suck your belly in. And look, the little staccato exhales. And either way, start to hold this ball of energy. You continue to breathe, either staccato or nice sleep, deep and slow, depending on what you need this morning. And then out to the side. Nice. Come to child's pose. And to expand this this solar plexus region, our belly, our I can. You know, you, you can see the best in you. You can bring your unique gifts out. Let that belly expand, the lower back release, hands in front. Walk your hands to your side. We're going to create more space in our side bodies this morning to really fuel this fire. Continue to breathe deep breaths through your nose, out through your nose, and then walk your hands to the other side again in through your nose, out through your nose. Wake up this region, this body, these this belly as you walk your hands up, coming to all fours, we'll inhale, we'll open the right side of our body, and then we'll exhale, we'll thread the needle and hold the expansion with clarity. We can all really inspire others by showing our light, which is why I chose to record this morning. No plan to do so, I don't have the right clothes on, I didn't clean my house. I know my kids are just waiting to come and share their energy, and I'm here because this is who I am, and this is what I do best, share the real me through the chaos, through the mess, and absolutely through the magic. Inhale, bring the arm back up. Exhale, back to all fours. Opposite hand rises. Inhale, up. Shoot, I didn't even comb my hair this morning. That's how committed I am to bringing this to you. And honestly, to doing this for myself, I'm an entertainer at heart. So being on screen, smiling, talking is a really good thing. And I know that moving my body different ways, it helps. It really does, even if it's just for 10, 15 minutes. And he'll bring the arm back up to the sky. Oops. So we inspire others to sit in their power by shining our own light. Shine it bright. We'll come into a gate. So bend the knee, and for stability, you can take the leg and bring it um, back at a, like a 45-degree angle as you extend your opposite. Oops. Your opposite leg out. If you have any wrist, um, if this is bothering your wrist, come up to your fist, but shining the light bright. And then inhale, extend the arm over. Yes, good night. Come bring it here. And then exhale, lift up. Take the opposite arm up to the sky. Oh, you have a prize for me? All right, I'll come see the prize as soon as I'm done with yoga, okay? Inhale, lift 
off, extend through your pinky toe all the way to your pinky finger, exhale, lift up. Coming back to center, bringing both knees together, we'll switch sides. So again, you can be on a tightrope. I'm not going to say you can't, but just simply by doing this, you create more stability in the body. You might protect your knees and your legs a little more, um, and it could feel better. But you can play with the angle as you extend the hand up to the sky. Big inhale. Exhale, rainbow over. Again, point through your pinky side toe on the extended leg. Even anchor down through the shin bone for the bent leg. Exhale, lift up. I think this kind of feels like more like an inhale. So maybe inhale here. And then exhale, bring it over. Ah. Let's try that one more time. Inhale, bring it up. That feels so much more natural. Doesn't it feel natural when you move with your breath? Exhale, back to center. Nice. All right, continuing to warm up our bellies. Uh, we'll go ahead and boost our body confidence. Coming to all fours, wrists below shoulders, knees below hips. Inhale, lift the leg up to the sky. Look up, arch the back. Exhale, round and bring the knee towards the nose. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, round. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze the belly, fire it up. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze. Now keep on doing these. Oops. We got a couple more on this side. And this is when I read this passage, I was like, oh my gosh. It says, become extremely observant of your self esteem, awaken to the history of your own feelings about yourself. Am I thinking poorly of myself? Am I overconfident, feeling, falling into a superiority complex? Come back to center, sit on this heel. Huh, baby? There's a dance over there? Okay, I'm finishing up my yoga and I'll be right there. All right, one more side. So I was like, okay, well, yeah, I'm kind of feeling like, you know, woe is me, can't do this, blah, 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 can't do my retreat. And then I was like, wait, no, I could do it. I could do a summer one and blah, blah, blah. And then it's, where's the balance? And so as we switch to this other side, first find your stability, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Inhale, come up, arch, open, exhale, round and squeeze. This was the passage that actually prompted me to go grab my camera and do this whole thing again. However you mask your feelings of weakness or inadequacy, ask, can I make a conscious choice to discover my own unique gifts? Stop beating yourself up and find the courage to tune out the negative voices telling you all the reason to dim your light. Wow. discover my own unique gifts I grab the camera this is part of it have you discovered yours yet do you carve out time is this part of it discovering what makes you tick shine come back and sit on your your heels so i'm reading this book angelus by erica jago it's got um 21 different yoga practices in it that are not only physical but emotional cues that just connect with your better self, right? Your higher self. Um, we're gonna do one more little series and then we'll, we'll bring it back down. So coming into a downward dog now, lifting the heel, hips to the sky, bend the knees pretty uh, generously. So you can create space in that lower back. And then inhale, keeping one leg really bent, just lift it to the sky. Exhale, place it between the hands. Take the back knee on the ground. Inhale, radiate that heart. Exhale, cactus arms, let yourself shine. Just breathe in that oxygen. Whew. One more breath here. Exhale, raise it back up. 
or inhale. Oh, that breath is just getting to me today. Exhale, coming back down. All fours. Go ahead and tuck the toes, lift the hips, keep the knees slightly bent. Breathe here as you push through all 10 fingers. Now lifting the left leg, bending the knee, bringing it up. Inhale, exhale, placing the foot between your hands, letting the back knee come to the ground. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, shine the height forward, bend the elbows, cactus arms. Inhale, raise it back up. Exhale, coming back down. All fours, take a cat cow here. Inhale, look up, exhale, round. Radiate generosity like warmth from the sun. True confidence comes from your center. The place of power that excuses determination and vibrancy. Focus fully on the fantastic things happening in your life right now. So let's just try that little series again. Inhale, bend the knees, and we're going to focus on the fantastic things happening in our life right now. The growth that's happening in our kids. Inhale, bring the knee up. Exhale, bring the foot between the hands. Let the knee come to the ground. Inhale, arms swoop up. What's happening at our home? Bend, shine the light. What's happening in our like our personal dreams? Are they being swirled and stirred? Something in you telling you to do something you haven't done in a while. Maybe a hobby as a kid or maybe something, a new invention. Inhale up. What fantastic things are happening in your life. Exhale. You know, who have you talked to lately that has been just such a warm conversation? Bring them heel hips up. Fantastic relationships blooming. Bending the knees, breathing, extending the spine, pushing through the fingers. Inhale, opposite leg comes up, keeping the knee bent. Exhale, bring that foot between the hands. Swoop the hands up. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbows. Fantastic things happening in your life right now. Is the weather changing? Is it, you know, is there more outdoor activities, less outdoor activities? Are you finally getting time to read the book? Are you like, getting a better night's sleep. I don't know. There could be thousands of little fantastic things happening. Are you not getting to sleep and it's causing you to really revisit that piece of your life? Coming back to all fours, we'll go ahead and take a seat on our bottom. Crossing the legs. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale up. Exhale, side stretch. So I only did a piece of this practice. Keep going side to side. Just for a taste, because if you hear my babies in the background, it's it's time to play. <sighs> time for breakfast. So we're going to finish here. Um, ideally, like, I want to open our heart space, so I'm just going to lean back on those fingers. If you have a ball or something you want to lay over, you could do that too. For me today, I'm just taking my hands and placing them behind me to bring my heart. May we learn to direct our light, honor the difference between you and another and claim who you are. Your creative power manifests with the enhancements of your self-esteem. Let's take five breaths here. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, exhale, that's breath two. Inhale. Exhale, three, inhale, four, and last one. Move your fingers back towards your bottom, hands to heart center. Namaste. Have a great day. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. What happened? Yeah, what what was happening? What were you doing? I was there, my grandfather. I want it. Oh, you wanted to ride the bike? Yeah. Yeah, and Gunnar was riding it. Yeah. And so, yeah. 
It is. Tell me, so so, so Carl wanted to ride the bike? Yeah, I wanted to ride the bike too. You wanted to ride the bike too? So, is, it ever, is it ever okay to scratch anybody? No. Is it ever okay, Gunnar? What's something you could do instead if, if you didn't like what was happening besides scratch? What else could you do? Can you name one thing? You could poop in the that's right. You could leave and get a little space by poo pooing in the toilet. That's correct. What else could you do? Nothing. Nothing? That's right. You didn't have to scratch at all. You didn't have to do anything. Um, could you could you tell Carl, hey, can I I would just like to use it for a few minutes. Could you use your word? I'm not using it. You're done using it? So Carl, he's done using it. You wanna use it? Yeah, you're gonna use it. Now he's saying, "Hey, Carl, you want to use it? It's all ready for you. I warmed it up. Thank you. Should we go have some milkies yeah. and breakfast?" Oh, a surprise for me! Okay, keep my eyes closed. Okay, let's go see the.